Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Viva Pinata for the Xbox Series S. The game was originally released for the Xbox 360. Viva Pinata is a gardening game developed by Rare. So what is the game like to play? Well, the first thing you have to do is clear the mess from your garden. This is where your shovel comes in handy and the early stages of Viva Pinata are a little bit like housekeeping. Once the garden starts to look half decent and you've got a few tools like watering cans available, a few piñatas will start sniffing around. You see, you don't directly control the piñatas. Instead, you've got to create a garden that will appeal to them in order for them to first visit and then become a permanent resident. It may be having a certain flower, vegetable or structure in your garden or even another type of piñata wandering around. And in time, you'll have all sorts of weird and wonderful little creatures wandering about. Once you have two of the same piñata, there's a chance for romance. Once the requirements are met and you've got the appropriate building, of course, then it's off for a mating minigame and voila, you've got a new member of the family. The trick with Viva Piñata is managing the population as it's an ecosystem. Birds like killing worms, rabbits like eating carrots, but foxes eat rabbits. So you have to consider all these things when you're designing the layout in order to protect some of the species. As you level up, the garden will expand, giving you more space to work with, but the further you go, the more complex it becomes to manage all the inhabitants. Finally, there is a nearby village with NPCs who will aid you through the process. Traders you can buy and sell from, doctors can visit to cure injured residents, and builders will construct whatever you desire for a cost. Graphically, it's a fun and vibrant experience with over-the-top colors, silly characters, and a pleasant art style. The sound is straight out of a cartoon with cute and quirky voices and general effects. Okay, what's good and what's bad? What's good? The graphics are cute and colorful. Building your own unique garden is quite satisfying and the ecosystem that governs the piñatas is well thought out. What's bad? It does feel quite a passive experience most of the time. There isn't a great deal of action and it can be frustrating due to the heavy costs of some of the visitors, such as the vet. So what is the verdict? Viva Piñata is a pretty relaxing experience. Creating your own garden, attracting new piñatas and watching the whole thing develop is an intriguing affair. But after a time, it does start to drag a little bit with perhaps too much emphasis on passive gameplay than a more hands-on approach. Back in the day, I did quite like it, you know, for a bit of downtime, a bit of chill, but over the long run, it might lose its shine if you're looking for a more hands-on experience, but it's still worth a try. So my score for Viva Piñata is 7 out of 10. Okay, that's the review. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer, signing off. Thank you.